One of my favorite things to do is hike. And one of the reasons I love hiking is there seems to always be a treat at the end of the hike. This time, listen to this. You hear the sound of water? Either a river, a waterfall, or both awaits us. Let's check it out. See, this is definitely a treat. This is Otter Falls. Have you ever wondered how waterfalls form to start with? Well, let's take a closer look. Waterfalls are formed when a river flows over a layer of harder rock, followed by a layer of softer rock. That soft rock will erodes more quickly, forming a step in the riverbed. The force of this rushing water is so great that it undercuts the hard rock and creates a plunge pool like you see here at Otter Falls. That plunge pool gets bigger as the rushing water and the sediment continue to erode. It even creates a cave-like shelter like you see here. The hard rock is left overhanging and because it isn't supported, eventually that will erode off and collapse. The fallen rock crashes into that plunge pool and they swirl around causing even more erosion. Over time, this process is repeated and the waterfall moves upstream. But that whole process takes many, many years to occur. And that's how waterfalls are formed. The highest waterfall in the entire world is in Venezuela. It's called Angel Falls. It's 9,000 feet. Otter Falls is not anywhere near that tall, but it's pretty spectacular. Another very popular waterfall is Niagara Falls in Ontario, Canada. It is so beautiful. And the one thing you'll notice about it, it's very wide. Besides Otter Falls in Seven Devils, North Carolina, my hikes have led me to discover a few more waterfalls. Follow the trail along this babbling brook to Cascade Falls, located on the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina in E.B. Jeffress Park. Beautiful. This is such a unique side view. The water cascades 250 feet down the side of the mountain. It's easy to see why it's named Cascade Falls. Also on the Blue Ridge Parkway is Linville Falls. Here the Linville River spills gently over the upper falls where it widens and pauses. It drifts into a narrow canyon and the water spirals out of sight, plunging 45 feet into the Linville Gorge. Notice the Grand Canyon of the Southern Appalachians. Over many years, it carved a path through this rock. Wow, what a view from the other side. You can see why Linville Falls is the most popular waterfall in the Blue Ridge Mountains. This view shows the upper and the lower falls. Farther down the Blue Ridge Parkway is another cascading waterfall, Crabtree Falls. From the bridge I'm standing on, this fall plunges into this beautiful creek below. Wait for it. It's worth the hike. Crabtree Falls cascades about 60 feet down the side of the mountain. Back home in Tennessee, in Swanee, I discovered this gorgeous waterfall, Bridal Vale. This waterfall appears to come out of the side of the mountain. It tumbles 27 feet over rocks and bluffs then drops 25 feet before disappearing into the bottom of a sinkhole. Those are just a few of the waterfalls I've discovered hiking. Looking at the different falls, could you see some of the things I talked about at the beginning of this video? The water flows over the hard rock and soft rock. The soft rock erodes more quickly, undercutting it. Then a plunge pool forms. There's a few other ways that waterfalls can form. They can form from landslides, earthquakes, volcanoes, and glaciers. Thanks for joining me on my hike today. Now I challenge you to discover some of these wonders of nature for yourself. Explore other videos about weather, science, and nature by subscribing to the Lisa Spencer channel on YouTube.